okay come back guys if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe to my channel to get content cool content like this okay so let's get right to it um so at least most of the part of the foil you know really seen you can't really see them so i will just <clears throat> Probably will probably go rough handed in there. Probably go rough handed in there. Mm. Mm. I see this is an interesting shape around here that I can incorporate also in the design. Mm. Uh, okay. There's also an interesting shape around here. I don't think I will need to. Uh, maybe I should, but we'll see. We'll see. I think I should. I think I should. Okay, let's 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 add that. There's this. There's this thickness of fat part around here. I think if I should. Let me see if I can find something that better illustrates. Um. Yeah, not essential. I can't really find one to actually use though. But let me just add it in there. I think that should give it a bit more character to it. There's something that is more associated with older faces. Let's see if I can find it. Find it somewhere around here. Yeah, something like this. This thick. Bit more of a thicker fat part around here, but I won't go too extreme on it though. I don't want to go too extreme on it, I will just go faint under just like what we have in here. So I'll go a bit faint under on it. So obviously, we do not need lower, lower subdivision level. <clears throat> uh, which brush should we even use for this? Let's try this clay brush yeah something like that something like that let's go on subdivision level here let's see what we have you can see how it's kind of casting shadows that you can see a bit more depth around here now after applying that you can see a bit more depth around here but I think I will need to add a bit more. So let me use the standard brush instead. Get a good angle on it. Think something like this should be fine then. Do something like like this. No, no, we don't want to go too much though. Because when you go over that multiple times, you begin to have a kind of weird lump on it. I think I think a perfect brush for this should be the inflate brush. I think let's use the inflate brush for this. Yes, it helps us do more of a gradual build up on that. Smooth that down a bit more. You know, something pretty much like this. <clears throat> Smooth that down a bit. And I think I extended that out way too much. I think something like this should be fine for now. I'll break symmetry later, but for now let's just leave that as it is. <clears throat> okay. Should definitely use the damn standard brush. Go to lower subdivision level. Dig something gentle in here. Dig something gentle in here. As much as I want to follow the reference from the character sculpt, I still want to kind of have some personalized shape to it just to make it look slightly more interesting, I guess.
think I will use the move brush. Go to lower subdivision level and push it back down just a tiny, just a tiny bit. So I, so I kind of get some kind of wrapping wrapping effect to it, almost like kind of wraps around it. Something like that should be fine. Okay, so um, yeah, so the forehead. Let's see. I'll use a little bit of this, but before I do that, I'd like to add. This some kind of shape to this. This shape around. Let me see if I can. I like that. We can, I see a shape going all the way here, and all the way here. But that's a curve, slight curve to it, though. Okay, so I go to the lower subdivision level in here. Which brush should we use to block that in? This is a standard brush and see if we can get that in a bit bigger. Too much. Yes, yeah, something like that. No, no, money is money is spread out way too much. It should be, it should be a bit closer to themselves. Smooth. Is a lower smooth intensity, the smaller, slower, lower brush size. Let's get this smoother transition around it. There's not going to be going to be visible, but at the very least, let's just get something in there. Let's just get something in there. Then go one subdivision level higher. You can see the shape picking in, picking through now. Can also use the them standard brush to kind of redefine that a bit more. Maybe not now. Maybe when I when I'm breaking symmetry, I'll go in there individually and break that up. So let's add some brow detail in there. So for now I'm being doing this symmetrically. Let's go on subdivision level higher. Let's see what we have. You can see those gentle breakups in there. So that is what I'm trying to establish. Gentle breakup in there. Maybe turn off symmetry now. Just to just get that break up there also. We want it very faint. It shouldn't be too obvious. It should be faint. Something faint should be should work just fine. Now just smooth this, smooth that down a bit more. Something smooth, something like this should be fine for now. Smooth the edge. Okay. I think I should have more depth, more depth around here. A bit more depth, just a bit more. Something like that should be fine. Okay. Let's see if there's something else we can. We can add for model references. Mm. Let's see something. Yeah, 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 let's define the lips a bit more. <clears throat> let's define, but keeping in mind, where's your array? Okay, keeping in mind, okay, the list looks more human, human, human like so. 
so it's more human like so we should first should um let's look for okay yeah. okay let's use this you can see the shape of the lip around here you can see this peak points no I see this big points here, then this value points around here. So I'll try and create that also in here. They can see how the shape around here. So this goes like all the way around there, like another most like a fat part around this part. Okay. Now this part around here feels more like a triangle, and it feels a bit flat. We can't really see that very much in here though, but, but you can see, with by the very least, we can see this fat part around here. The same we have also here, even though very faint, but still still in there. Still in there. So let's try and get that into our scopes. Um Okay, so let's isolate this. Okay, put this here. Blow this out. Let's go on subdivision level here. Why are you? You see, where is already the? Why are you working on the? What's it called again? We're working on secondary details. Most of what I'm doing now is just mostly secondary details on this. So them standard brush. It looks feels very faint in there. So I'm going to hold out. I'll hold out. Great symmetry turned on. Hold out and just do something like this. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like that should work. Hmm. Yeah, that should work. So if I go one subdivision level higher on this, should be able to see the shape now. Okay, maybe accentuate that slightly and smooth down the edge. Something like you get something a bit faint in there. Then invert, invert the marks for for this upper part. We need to kind of drag this like so. So this is just me creating that. Peak and um, valley shape around there. So, peak, valley, peak, peak, valley, peak. So, basically, that's. So, I try as much as possible to do that in one stroke. <clears throat> try as much as possible to do that in one stroke. So, I don't have a weird shape in there, weird shape in there. Then I'll just soften it out. It's a very low, smooth intensity. Okay. And I need to have a depth. You can see more like, like a, let me see if I can find okay, think. You can see more or less like a valley in here. So I'm going to go to the lower sub lowest lower subdivision level. Try to block that in there. I think I can just use the clay brush. Um, let's go one subdivision level higher, then hold out and just do something like this. I think that's a bit too much. Something like this. And I think standard brush should be a better one for this. Let's go one subdivision level higher for this. It's in there, but not so aggressive. So let's do this again. 
okay also need to use the dem standard brush and then carve something holding not holding not and carve something like this gentle though not too aggressive maybe blend the edge a bit more don't let it be fine so we're already getting to the point where we need, might need to break symmetry but before we do that we need to scope details for the year <coughs> we'll need details for the year Okay. Hmm. I feel like I should stretch the lips a bit more. I'm not too sure though. Hmm. Not too sure if I need to stretch the lips a bit more. Let's see if we can map it out. Let's see, let's get some something similar to measuring soon. <coughs> okay. This is more or less where it ends. Let's see ours also. Okay, let's let's bring let bring the eyeball in there back. So let's do this again. Let's see what we have. <clears throat> so around the uh, something like this, you can see at the center of the eye. So let me just drag mine from the center of the eye downwards instead. So I think we need to expand ours a bit more. Let's expand us a bit more. So is the move brush. Let's get a good angle to this. Take this down. Let's try and measure this again. Let's see. Roughly, rough, roughly around there. Roughly around there. We increase the brush size a bit more. No. <coughs> Okay, I think something like this should be fine. This should be fine. I'll just leave this as it is. Let me do a quick save again. Okay, so um, let me just show you guys because I think this is longer than an average lip. So the reason why it's longer than an average lip because based on this map, Q monkey shape in here. You can see they have they have more of a longer lip lip span to it, so that's pretty much why I'm making it slightly longer than it is. Because I'm making it slightly longer than it is. Okay. All right. So uh, I think when a good spots, yeah, this looks very nice from this view. After the shape, at least to a good extent. Okay. So I think in the next lesson we'll just go in there and sculpting something for the sculpting something for the year. Then after that, we we'll begin to break symmetry on the entire shape, just to get something a bit more interesting out of it. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye for now.